Hello and welcome to another episode of Everyday Black History. Now today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be talking about a brother by the name of Frederick McKinley Jones. And Frederick McKinley Jones was an inventor, entrepreneur, and winner of many awards and recognitions for his inventions and his um, uh, business. He made innovations in refrigeration and brought great improvement to the long-haul transportation of perishable goods. He was also the co-founder of Thermal King. You probably remember seeing those trucks around, those ice trucks back in the days, the Thermal King ice trucks. Well, Frederick McKinley Jones was the co-founder and the mind behind it. Now, a little background history. He was born in Cincinnati, Ohio on May 17, 1893. Unfortunately, he was orphaned at a young age, the age of seven, and he was raised by a priest and a, at, at a Catholic rectory in Cincinnati. He left school after the sixth grade, which was customary at the time, and he left the rectory to return to Cincinnati at age 11, where he got a job as a cleaning boy first and then as an automobile mechanic at the age of 14 later on. He boosted his natural mechanical ability and inventive mind with independent reading and study and the willingness to seek new pastures in his search for advancement against any odds. In 1912, he moved to uh, Halleck, Minnesota, where he worked as a mechanic on a, on a farm. And after his service in World War I, he returned back to uh, Halleck, Minnesota, where he, re- where he worked as a mechanic. And he taught himself electronics and built the transistor for the town's new radio station. All self-taught. He also invented a device, a device to combine sound with motion pictures. And this invention attracted the attention of Joseph Numero of Minneapolis, who hired uh, Jones in 1930 to improve the sound equipment made by his firm, Cinema Supplies Incorporated. Now, around 1938, he designed, uh, Jones, uh, Frederick McKinley Jones, designed a portable air cooling unit for trucks carrying perishable food, and he received the patent for it on July 12, 1940. When uh, uh, Joseph Numero sold his movie sound equipment business to RCA, he formed a new company with Frederick Jones, and this was the U.S. Thermal Control Company, later changed to Thermal King Corporation, and it became a $3 million business by 1949. Um, the portable cooling units designed by Jones were especially important during World War II for the um, uh, preserving of blood, medicine, and food for use at Army hospitals and on open battlefields. Now, Frederick Jones was awarded 61 patents. 40 of those patents were for refrigeration equipment while he had other patents for a variety of different things, such as portable x-ray machines, sound equipment, and even gasoline engines. In 1944, he became the first African-American to be elected into the American Society of Refrigeration Engineers, and during the 1950s, he was consulted to the U.S. Department of Defense and the Bureau of Standards. He was awarded uh, many awards, um, some by presidents and by other uh, well-known people for his um, for his invent for his inventions, he was even awarded uh, posthumously, posthumously an award by President George Bush um, in uh, the two thousands. He was the first African American to receive um, many awards, and he died of lung cancer in Minneapolis in nineteen sixty one, unfortunately. But just based off his um, inventions and uh, and you know his his business mind. We can see his contribution to black history and to black culture. And Frederick McKinley Jones, we thank you for your contribution and we salute you. Now that concludes this episode of Everyday Black History, so tune in again.